Hi, we're Shelby, Tristan, Amelia Rose and Nolan. We're moving to a more minimalistic lifestyle, starting off by building a shipping container home. Join us on our journey. Like and subscribe to stay updated with our progress. It has been another big week on top of all the other big weeks that we seem to be having. We have now got the shed almost complete, which is finishing the last final tweaks to it. We are getting the trench being dug at the moment, so that's also another thing that's going to go in place. And that'll allow the water pipes to come through, that'll allow the electricity to come through, uh, that'll kind of tie up a lot of loose ends. The septic tank is also dug into the ground as well. Um, and yeah, that's kind of like where we're up to. We're also about to start building the playground and uh, in the next couple of days we're going to have the container put into place. We do keep saying that in a lot of the videos because it just seems to be a little bit all over the place at the moment just because of availability of just everyone. Uh, but the container is going to go into place which is going to be fantastic. Allow us to get in there and actually start making a, a dent on this actual container. Currently we have some visitors just popping in there around the corner. Uh, Oma and Opa, our grandparents, they're here and they're a little bit camera shy as well as dad who likes to hide away from the camera as well. So we don't actually know where the container is officially going to go. It kind of keeps changing a little bit. The farmer still wants access to the back of his property, uh, which is more than fine. So because of that, we're going to have to reorientate the container or move it slightly further away than what we had originally thought we were going to do. It's not going to be that much hard work to figure this out, but once we get the container in place, then we'll know roughly what it is that we're doing. Again, we're just kind of making it up as we go, to be completely honest. I better get back to work and finish this all off, but you can continue watching this video to see where we go. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Oh, I was crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright On the roof, it hasn't been uh, leveled off correctly. So when we're putting in the timber studs that sit on top, so as you can see there, there's the the there's a timber, 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 
and then there's a big long line of timber that goes across the top. It's very poor pointing. That particular timber isn't, it's screwed down in a bit of a weird way and because of that it's all the um, water is just pulling at the top. Because of that we've got an issue on the inside. Thankfully, it's treated. Whoops. So I'm trying to think of a good way of being able to kind of fix it. I think I'll come up with a bit of a solution. So the timber battens, I believe they're called, they go across that way, not the, the long studs. Again, terminology might be a little bit off. What I think is happening is it's all pushing a little bit too high. So I've got an easy solution that I think might work. And that's taking off the last batten. If I take off the last batten, that should give it enough of an angle to then just drop off. So I'm going to see how we go on that one. Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I now is I'm silicing up all the holes in the roof so that it doesn't leak anymore. Really nice. Really nice. Just chuck a little bit of gunk in there. Making sure that just go over these because I think I just ruined it by touching it. Uh, once they're all tied down properly, then the elevation should work immediately. Working. What? Smart for something. Yeah. You missed a spot. I missed a spot. Do you know what's funny? You. Is that you asked me to do this the other day, and I thought. Note to self, everybody that is uh, watching, listen to your wives. <laughs> is that right? Happy wife, happy life. Is that right? Also means it'll be done correctly the first time. Well, that is accurate, yes. I mean, it's better than what it was. Right, so I took out the battens on the last row and that seems to have drastically fixed the problem. What it was is it was sitting too level. Now I've taken out the batten, it's got that tilt to it again, which is exactly what we needed. So I've done that, which has been fantastic. Literally just chucked a couple of bottles of water over the top and you can see it all running off perfectly fine. In the background there, you can probably see a bit of rain coming along as well, so that'll be the true test. We'll come up either later today or tomorrow just to double check and, and see. I think we've done a good job. Please subscribe next time. Goodbye.